some Democratic lawmakers today said they've had enough filing articles of impeachment against President Trump. They say the president has obstructed justice, violated the Constitution, and undermined the courts. WBZ political analyst John Keller is here. And John, is there significant support for this move at this point? Well, Liam, the most recent poll on the subject back in August found 40 percent support for impeachment. But the advocates for it in Congress could muster backing from only six members today. And you wonder how many among that 40 percent realize just how ugly and damaging an impeachment proceeding can be. This president is a clear and present danger who's mentally unstable and armed with nuclear weapons. Perhaps you've seen nothing. the TV ads paid for Jeez. by liberal billionaire Tom Steyer you. exhorting Congress to take the ultimate step. We're introducing articles of impeachment to remove President Trump from office. And today, a handful of House Democrats answered the call, accusing the president of violating the law and the Constitution in a variety of ways, even as they acknowledged the riskiness of their move. When a president has to step down, it's not a, a good thing. It's not a nice thing. No, it isn't. From the failed impeachment of Andrew Jackson in 1868 to the near impeachment of Richard Nixon in 1974 to the impeachment and acquittal of Bill Clinton in 1998, the rare procedure has always inflamed divisions and left scars, a fact alluded to in Steyer's ad. A Republican Congress once impeached a president for far less. And I think we have to be very, very careful. A warning, not from a Trump ally, but from top Obama aide David Axelrod. And if people get a sense that there's some extraordinary measure that's going to be taken to affect what they would view as a bloodless coup, remember a third of the country uh, supports this president, that's a very dangerous road to go down. And if you ever did go down that road, you're opening a Pandora's box that will never end. Now, the Democrats who spoke out today, Liam, acknowledge their articles of impeachment are unlikely to make it out of the Judiciary Committee, at least as long as the Republicans are in control. We'll see what happens in 2018. Right. You heard it from David Axelrod there. Uh, Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi, they both said, hold your horses. We have a special counsel investigation. We don't need to get ahead of our skis here. Right. Wait for that, and then you, maybe you have some real substance to go forward with. And there's an old saying in politics, when your opponent is digging a hole, back off and let him keep digging. 65% negative on the approval rating. It's a pretty deep hole. We'll see where it goes. John Keller, thank you very much.